Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a beauty haul. I know it's something that I usually don't even do, like beauty hauls, but today I wanted to switch it up. So I'm doing a beauty haul. I picked up some stuff from Sephora, Ulta, and I got some lashes from LadyMoss.com. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna be showing you all are some lashes that I got from LadyMoss.com. Also, I found out that they actually sell LA Girl Pro Concealer. So I got the color orange because I want to start color correcting with this instead of using my MAC Peach Luster. I mean, I'm going to still use that one, but I want to try this one and see how it goes. And this is way cheaper, so I hope this works just as good. I have four lashes, but I'm wearing one of them today. This is in the style Marilyn, and this is by Coco Lashes as well. And then I got Queen Bees. These are kind of like a wispy, a dramatic wispy pair of lashes and these are what Desi and Katie are always bragging about so I mean I'm about to look in the package I can already tell that these are bomb I got the Stella lash these are like really dramatic so I'm excited to wear these with a dramatic look and these are the style goddess I it looks like I have a pair of lashes like these these kind of look like house of lashes iconic but it's way cheaper so this is my Sephora bag I didn't get that much stuff but this stuff is expensive like uh -uh. they gave me this sample of the makeup forever ultra HD but tell me why how they gonna what is this even my complexion like what is I was like to the lady I was like is do you guys have it in my complexion and she was like oh you can give it to a friend I'm like true so the first thing I'm going to show you all is this NARS Velvet Matte Skin Tint Foundation. Now I've seen a lot of people talk about this foundation so I wanted to give it a go. I know a lot of people actually mix this foundation with other foundations and that's basically why I got it. This is actually a matte foundation. I got the color Martinique. Guys, you guys will be so proud of me for this next item that I got. So I got a beauty blender. Like my beauty blender has been through the mud. Like if you all have seen it, you guys know what I'm talking about. Like it was done. Like I've had it for months and months, probably years, maybe a year. Like I had my beauty blender for a long time. I finally got the courage to just spend the $20 on this because this is a staple when doing my makeup. Like I definitely need, need, need a beauty blender. Okay, so the next thing I got is this Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. And guys, I've seen this on so many people. It is so pretty. I actually swatched this in the store and this is bomb. It has coconut oil in it. So when it just, when you blend it on your face, it just looks like so flawless. You guys, if you haven't tried this or at least went to the Sephora and at least swatched it, this is so pretty while i was at checkout of course i grabbed some of the little what is it travel size items that they have up there and i've been wanting to try this makeup forever step one smoothing primer because i have so much texture like i don't think it shows through the camera but like my texture don't pay my hair any mind by the way guys because i just i just couldn't style this like i didn't know what to do so yeah just don't pay any mind but i'm super excited to try this one this is the smoothing primer and i have so much texture like in my skin like you can just see like everything and i'm just like why so it's kind of makes me not even want to wear makeup but i'm super excited to try this one i just got it in a little bottle because i didn't want to splurge on a bigger bottle and it didn't do anything for me so hopefully this works out and i got another primer so this is the smashbox photo finish primer water and this is the smaller package of it. I mean, it does look like water in a bottle, like everyone says. But I'm hoping this can actually work miracles when doing my makeup. So if I want to use this, I would use this first and then spray this on top of this primer. I'm just super excited to use this. It's like I heard it makes your makeup look flawless. So I'll be the judge of that. So I got this with my Sephora points and this is the Tattoo Liner and trooper i want to actually see how this swatches i've been wanting to try a liquid liner for like the longest because i'm like kind of over gel liners 
this one i mean it doesn't look like that black but i know a lot of people i know a lot of people actually love this so hopefully when i actually do decide to use it it's you know i'm excited to use this because i'm just trying to get on the liquid liner um bandwagon so yeah that's all i got from sephora and it seems like i should have got more things because i spent a hundred dollars so next i have the things from ulta and i love ulta like i haven't been into ulta in like years maybe like a year or two i haven't been to ulta but it's a great store to go to if you're looking for like drugstore items and your drugstore like cvs or target doesn't have what you're looking for you can go to ulta and they'll most likely have first thing i want to share with you all is this real techniques american complexion ugh, what <laughs> the miracle complexion sponge okay that was a tongue twister so this is kind of like the beauty blender i wanted to get this basically so i could have something other than my beauty blender and i also just want to try this one out to see if it compares to the beauty blender because i love the beauty blender so i'm hoping this actually can be a dupe for the beauty blender because i will not be spending that much money on a beauty blender i will just get this complexion sponge so we'll see how this one works so i got some more liquid liner because i told you guys i'm trying to get on this liquid liner bandwagon i really am because gel liner it dries up and then you have to use a brush and do all this extra stuff and i just want to be able to just grab a liner and just and go and also i don't know but my liner has been giving me such a headache like i literally have to go in and clean it up with um concealer and it just takes too long i'm just like what is going on like i need to practice with liquid liner but this is the revlon Ooh, this is pretty this is actually better than the trooper liner like it's so bright and vibrant I like this one i'm excited to use this one like the trooper one i'm excited to use that one too but this one got that beat a lot of people have like said to go get this one too so yeah i got the l'oreal infallible pro glow foundation finally right um i couldn't find this anywhere so finally i found it at alta this is in the color 212 cocoa um really excited to use this one maybe i could do like a first impressions or review on this foundation so be on the lookout i'm doing like a, a video for all this stuff because i spent my money on this stuff even though i'm like addicted to makeup like i will spend my last dime maybe not my last dime but i will spend my money on makeup like what as soon as i get money i'm like makeup okay so the next thing i picked up are these three nyx lip glosses and i already have a nyx lip gloss and i love it like it kind of compares to my nars lip gloss and chelsea girl the one that i got from nyx before so i'm excited to try these out so i got it in the color cosmo this color kind of remind me of um the new color pop gloss that came out and like tight fit i think is the name i don't know really pretty i think this will kind of be like a topper i think i could probably wear this by itself also i'm excited to try this one then the next color i got is beige pearl i think it's gold hopefully Ooh, this is pretty so this next color gloss i got is tan slash bronze and this is um wait i thought it was called natural i thought this was called natural but this is kind of like a nude, a brown nude. But this is pretty. This reminds me of Max Gloss and Lust. This is really pretty. I like this one. If you are looking for glosses, I definitely recommend NYX glosses. They're everything. They kind of compare to Max glosses. I love them and I love like gloss period. I'm like a gloss girl. Like gloss just makes your lips just look so like pouty and it's like sexy you know yeah guys so the next thing i got i'm super excited i just hope that these are really like pretty i was actually looking for like some pigment like some glitter pigment but they didn't even have like the glitter glue so i'm like what and the lady says that they've been sold out of the glitter glue for like months like they haven't had it i'm just like what 
So I just picked up these two Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art and I picked up two colors. So the first one I'm going to talk about, I picked up this color. Where's the color? Where's the color? Oh, so this is the color Burnished Bling. So it comes with two sides on it. So you're supposed to use this side first. Ooh, that's pretty. And then after you use that, that's really pretty. Like I could probably put that on my lips or something. That's cute. And then you're supposed to top it with the glitter. That's so pretty. These are bomb. I'm super excited that I picked these up. This glitter, like, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? This glitter is so pretty. Oh my god. And I'm excited to use this. Like, I just want to use it now. Like, I might just wipe this all off and just do a look with this because this is so pretty so the next color i got is peach prism so let's see how this one Ooh, that is pretty that's nice i hope this is showing up true to color but this part kind of looks like a rose gold color guys i'm in love these two glitter colors kind of look similar but I mean, I guess on the camera you can actually see that this is coming up like gold and this is coming up pinky. I love it. I'm so serious, guys. Also picked up a NYX lip pencil. This liner, I don't even know where the other one I had of this one is at, but this liner, I literally used it until it got like this small so I like had to re-up because I love this liner I could literally use this with any lip color and it's like boom I love NYX lip liners actually some of your lip liners like the the lighter colors kind of are chalky to me so I don't really use the lighter colors but the darker colors of the NYX lip liners girl you better hop on that so I picked up this lip paint this is by LA girl I actually got this from forever 21 this is in the color blushing so I never tried these lip paints out but it kind of looks like the Too Faced um, lip paint so I'm like let me get that because you know I want that cheaper route so this is not the color I was really looking for like I mean I guess it kind of matches that but I was looking for more like a of a nudish pink brown like a nude pinkish brownish color picks up two concealers so the first one i'm going to be talking about is this maybelline fit me concealer i got the color 30 in cafe i've heard a lot of people say this is kind of a dupe for the nars creamy radiant concealer but this is pretty i would kind of say this is a dupe for the NARS concealer because this is really creamy so I'm super excited to use this concealer I'm a concealer girl I'm a gloss girl and I'm a concealer girl like seriously I can literally just put on concealer and be content with that for like ever but of course I want to just try foundation to so I could be like okay this is why I need foundation but I haven't really fell in love with that foundation except for the makeup forever foundation but i feel like the ultra hd is way different from the first formula that they have of the foundations like i don't know i just feel like it's different i still love it but i know that the first formula that they had for the makeup forever um foundations were like i was just blown away i loved it it was just like skin it was just like so flawless the foundation the ultra hd one is still pretty but it's just not the same as the first formula you know so this next concealer this is the it cosmetics bye bye under eye concealer and i'm like i just want to put this on my face like right this instant right now because this concealer so first of all it says it's full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer it's warm a tiny amount with fingers Tap onto skin and blend using your favorite It Cosmetics Heavenly whatever whatever brush. Can also be worn as a foundation. Oh, I didn't even know that. This is like supposed to be, you are beautiful, you are it. Oh, is that why they say It Cosmetics? Because it's like you are it. Oh, nice. So first of all, this is tiny, but it 
seems like it's a lot of product and I think a little bit of this goes a long way because first of all it's full coverage so you don't want to be too heavy handed with this concealer so I'm just going to put like a dot on my arm okay you don't want to come out so I put like a little amount literally the smallest piece ever this seems like it's actually like a little bit of product in here though like do you see how this bottle is just like squeezing and just like it's like all air in here um no not okay so ooh, this is pretty like already by tapping this in I could tell that this is like a more on a thicker side of concealer it, it looks like it's gonna be pretty full coverage yeah because the Maybelline one is kind of like sheer because it's like kind of on the creamy side but this one I can tell is full coverage and it's it seems a little drying also but I just hope this is a great concealer because I'm all about that concealer life okay guys that is all I had for this haul today I hope this video wasn't too long I mean I didn't have that much stuff or did I I just hope all this stuff works out good I'm definitely going to be using all this stuff like in a tutorial coming soon to a YouTube video near you. That was corny. I'm mostly excited for these Revlon eye arts. Like, I'm so excited to use these. Like, you guys don't even understand. Like, I'm ready to just use them right now, but let me just put it down. Let me just put it down. I'm just getting too excited. I'm also excited to see how this miracle sponge works because if this is a beauty blender do you guys will know it I will let you guys know like I want to actually fill this one I don't even know why I didn't even like take this out the package like what like what that was hard to get out so this hmm I wonder how this is gonna feel I wonder how this is gonna like be already I can tell that this is definitely more dense than a beauty blender like I mean it's wishes and everything but the beauty blender is like more softer than this one it's like more dense and i wonder if i should do like a comparison video on these two so i hope you all enjoyed this haul video i probably won't be doing any hauls anytime soon because if y'all only know how broke i am right now like after this makeup but it was well worth it like this makeup just gives me life honestly like i'm super excited about these lashes so definitely let me know if you all like this video give it a thumbs up if you all liked it and leave me a comment below letting me know what you're excited for for this next tutorial coming so i will definitely see you all in my next video thank you all for tuning in bye white and fix 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 that fix it fix it honey um what else do i want to say I literally spent like all my coins buying makeup, which I have no problem with. It's super fine. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. So that's it for this makeup haul. Wait, what? So I hope my hair wasn't too crazy throughout this video. Like, it's seriously a bad hair day. I don't. So my sister's hair just, you know, interrupting. So Ooh, I told her to come say hi. Hey guys. I know I look dry AF right now. Yeah, you're kind of scaring me. Back it on up, back it on up, back it on up, back it on up, back it on up. <laughs> Is that all? Or should I say more? Or. I just want to try this gloss on right now. But.